Surprise, motherfucker. Hot eyes, motherfucker. <laughs> Out my eyes. And the week begins, as it tends to do, with a Monday. And I'm back, baby. Back in the office. Back at work. And I'm raring to go. In fact, I'm so raring to go that I've been in this office three hours now and I've just, just been working. We are shooting a sketch tomorrow. The sketch we were supposed to film a couple of weeks ago, but got delayed. So that's very exciting. Need to prepare for that. Need to make a shot list for that. I've already called the cameraman and I want to call Alice, who's acting. We're filming with Alice again. I haven't, we haven't shot a sketch with Alice for so long. So that's really exciting. Uh, we've also got a new poster on the way. Hopefully this week I'm going to be finishing the designs for the new Tom Scar poster, which is a sketch. Nope which is a poster made up of like some of my most popular sketches and videos. It's really cool. I'm going to show it to you now in its rough form, so that's not done, but that'll be available at conventions and hopefully online soonish. So yeah, it's good stuff. Let's have a party. <laughs> There's a disco ball in the office. Eddie, how would you describe your time when I was gone? Um, off that's, that's what it was, it was off. Did you write the script I asked you to write while no! I was- Oh, you're a piece of shit! <laughs> you're a piece of shit! Elliot! How would you describe your time while I was gone? Come, biscuit. Artichoke. Nice! nice! Matthew Perry, how would you describe your time while I was gone? Bees. Shit. Flowers. Pinocchio. Shit. Cum. Cheeky. So I'm currently popping back home because my life is very exciting and I'm getting a dog door installed today. And Charlie doesn't like being left in the house alone with anyone, so I'm going there to oversee things and pay the man. And now we don't have to leave the back door open all day and then be fucking cold and bitten by mosquitoes, yay! You alright, Squidge? Squidge? You alright, mate? You excited for your doggy door? Your doggy wall? Why are you so mad? No! Yeah, we know! We know! And we hired him! He's here for you! <laughs> you are not a smart animal, are you? Squidge! Look, mate, just squidge, come in, come in through the hole. Let's try a lure, shall we? Do you want that? You can do it. All right, that's the start, isn't it? Brilliant, good boy. What we got? Oh, it's a big white piece of paper. We can draw in here and everything. Yay, I'm gonna draw a willy. <gasps> oh my God. He's more than those memes. More memes. More, it just has your name on it. You fucking narcissist. Let's go, slut boys. No! <laughs> <laughs> well, how, how, did, how did you lose it? Oh, I didn't jump. There have been so many instances in recent months where other YouTubers have done or said some pretty fucked up stuff. And a few years ago, a younger me would have been so quick to call them out publicly and start, you know, drama. That's what people like to call it, even if it's valid criticism. But these days, I'm just too tired. I don't have the energy to follow through with the, the shit that comes from calling anyone out, you know, because you have to have a squeaky clean record. You have to be perfect because people will come at you. And if you don't, they don't have anything on you, they'll make shit up. And that's also not worth the hassle. But these days, when stuff like this happens, whenever anyone does something super fucked up, they just go on my blacklist, really, and it just means I'm not gonna talk to them, I'm not gonna be their friend, I'm not gonna work with them, I'm not gonna promote them. And I know I should do more, I know I should stand up and say, hey, this behavior's not okay, but fuck, dude, I'm tired. I'm fucking tired, man. And all I have the energy for is to just blacklist them, just cut them out not endorse, not befriend, and not collaborate. <sighs> I wish I had more conviction, but I'm just tired. No, uh, uh, uh. Squiggy, let's see if you've learned. All right, ready? Okay, see this? It's out there now. Yeah. Yeah, look at you. Now you have to find the treat though. <laughs> okay, it's there, it's there Squiggy. It's there! Oh, the door's open! <laughs> no! Cheating! Squid, you want some chicken? You want some chicken, you little fucking alien gremlin looking motherfucker? What's up with your face, Squidge? 
Why are you look like a little alien gremlin boy? Oh, right. So it's 6.30 a.m. and I am on my way into the office to prepare for the shoot. Because I should have done a shot list yesterday, but I was busy. So I'm doing it now. Kill me. We're the future. All right, Max, our DOP and his assistant have arrived. I've shot listed this about as professionally as you'd expect me to. <laughs> so we are in a stranger's house today, which we have, I guess, rented in full, even though we're only shooting in a child's bedroom to film a sketch called Imaginary Friend. Alice is here. Hello. Haven't shot with Alice since it can't have been shoot your problems away, but it might have been. Yeah, that was the last live action thing we did, but Alice also does Crash Zoom. Uh, but um, yeah, this, this sketch is going to be interesting to film because it requires, you know, it's a live action character interacting with an animated character. Think Roger Rabbit, but nowhere near as good. So planning this out is going to be a blast. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. What's also annoying about this sketch is that we're going to film it today and we're going to edit it on Thursday. But, you know, the characters in it are animated largely, so it's going to take a while to make... I'm really good at upload schedules and generally releasing things. This is some very niche pornography. Tom. <laughs> <laughs> of all the quips you could come up with. Alice, are you, are you a little girl? Yes. <laughs> I'm convinced. <laughs> no, I've, just, I've got more creeped out by Tom's question. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know what, Eddie? <laughs> I don't need your attitude, okay? It's you, Daddy's little princess. Uh, excuse me. There's only one princess here, and it's me. Well, hey, Lily, old buddy, old pal. Oh, hi, Mr. Tibbles. I made you a present. I wonder how those guys are doing these days. <laughs> <laughs> so, Eddie, yeah? back here again, are we? You, are you almost there? Oh, I'm so <laughs> like a pretzel. Like a pretzel. <laughs> you almost got it, buddy. Nearly, yeah. the, nearly there. <laughs> Max, please help him. <laughs> Mate, you're gonna have a child soon. You're not gonna know how to put them away at all. Yeah! Yeah, it's, it's a it's penis. A... <laughs> can't get it out it's a fidget oh, spinner. <laughs> That's a wrap on Alice! Bye. Bye. See you in, see you on the, in the, see you in the okay. sketch when it's out. In the future. And then at MCM, and then Maybe. in Crash Zoom. Maybe. Maybe. <gasps> you might be leaving forever. No! Bye! Bye! Bye. Who the fuck was that? <sighs> oh well. Cucks. Get him squish. And I'm just like, you wouldn't watch it because it would just be nice because it would just turn something on that will turn your brain off. Women. So the shoot yesterday did not get off to a good start at all. As I mentioned in the morning, I headed in extra early to do the shot list. But when I got into the office, suddenly my tummy had the troubles and I went to the toilet where I remained for 40 minutes. Now, I'm sure you can all understand that if you're spending 40 minutes on the toilet, you're already having a pretty bad fucking time. But to top it all off, when I finished my time on the toilet, I stood up only to realize that my leg had gone completely numb and I fell forward and smashed my head into the locking mechanism on the door. And from that point onwards, I just kind of wanted the day to end just a bad start. What are you doing, buddy? Why don't you just chill out? You got a big bony? You got a wicked boner? You got a big boner? Lunch cheers. So right now I'm in Hobbycraft, picking out some art supplies for Charlie to make a video uh, with. This is a challenge. She gives me 20 pounds. I buy things with her money. This isn't even her money. This is my 20 pounds. Art is a lie, everything is staged. I mean, I know I've only got 20 pounds to spend, but I think Charlie needs this. You gotta get your glitter on. Stencils. Glittery letters. More glitter. Let's just get, let's get more glitter. Do art without paper. Gotta, gotta get your paint. Gotta, shit. There you go, good luck. Thank you. All right, where are we going? Hey, happy birthday, Mike. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> well, oh, 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 that's the, uh, that's the satanic vibe. Hey, Ellen, just offend you? Is the amazing atheist right there? What? 
Well, I bought one of the amazing ATS books. I need someone had to. Yeah. Happy birthday to you, Mike Trivers. It's a special day where I don't feel shit about myself. That's not true. <laughs> He's an eggy. Give me a kiss. Never. <laughs> kiss him. Kiss me. Kiss me on Jack my forehead. Howard will. Do it. Give me a kiss on my forehead. Why? Why not? There we go. This is Oh, he kissed the egg. Yeah, I'm gonna cheeky time in Can Canary Wharf. <laughs> we haven't drunk anything. Mage, have you found it quite easy to get off the sofa now? I knew this day would come. Honestly, I'm surprised it took this long. We can add green screen into different locations. Oh my god! Hey Eddie, what email did we just get? Well, Tom. Uh, you've had an email from YouTube mm -hmm. who wants you to be in YouTube Rewind. Okay. But they've just like, they've just asked like, can you just come and be in the background of it? Oh, no, Tom. You are a priority. Why, Eddie? Why, why could I possibly be a priority? Beep, beep by my sheep! I swear to God, if that's the reason... <laughs> I'm gonna shit, dude. You know that's the reason. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so over that sheep! Hmm, <sighs> okay. So now we're gonna go see my accountant and talk about money and things, but needn't I remind you, my accountant likes forcing me to drink copious amounts of alcohol regardless of the time of day. And I don't want to, I don't want to. We're gonna die. We're gonna die we're again. Gonna... <laughs> but we, one of the things we're gonna talk to him about is potentially buying uh, an office for Turbo Punch Limited because, uh, you know, we've got a bit saved up now from a couple brand deals we've done. And it'd be nice to maybe invest in a new property, but an actual building that we're paying the mortgage off of instead of, you know, paying someone else's mortgage by renting. So let's be fucking grown ups and drink at literally midday. Cheers. <laughs> 1 p.m. We have now arrived at Shaffel. I need a shower. Yeah. No, don't film this. Oh, that's better. Three pints was more pints than I want in my body. I'm having one of those weeks where I kind of just forget to vlog. I think that to vlog you need to have some sort of inherent belief that what you have to say is worth listening to and maybe that's linked to self-esteem and maybe I'm just having a low self-esteem kind of time because I've got nothing to say or at least nothing I think you'd find interesting. No, no insights or enlightenment. So I'm just like, yep, yeah, today I... Today I pooped. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's one of the reasons I stopped doing big opinion pieces uh, and vlogs on my on on this channel is because I just ran out of conviction and energy and it's like you know I've always wanted to make this video called like why I hate religion or something and I've never made it because I just don't have the anger necessary to make it you know I started writing that video like five years ago and I never finished it because I just got tired Squidge, please poo. Please. Yay! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> this is so cool, dude. Oh, that's so cool. I need. We need funky beats. Yeah, this is better. Thank you very much. So it's been so long since I last went through a genuine bout of depression that it's been really hard to identify it, but yeah, like, I'm really depressed right now. And it kind of crept up out of nowhere. I guess it hit around Monday or Tuesday, but I feel unmotivated and just hollow. 
and it's making me not want to pick up this camera and talk about myself or my life or show my life. More on this at 10. That's a lot of onions. Elliot, what are you doing? Stopping cancer. We're saved, Elliot. We're saved. Now no one will smoke outside our office. I'm sure this will work. Oh. Oh dear. I did not ask for this. No smoking. Ow. Don't okay. smoke, Tom. I'm smoking hot. So one thing we've been working on this week is a best of Tom Scar poster because there's not really any merchandise for the Tom Scar channel. It's always just Ast of Movie and maybe, if you're lucky, my face or something. That's not luck. No one ever wants that. But uh, I wanted to do a poster that kind of just celebrated the rest of the content uh, that we've made over the years and so I came up with a list of 25 of some of my like most popular or my favorite videos and we did a little poster about it and hopefully I'll be selling that in Glasgow which I'm going to be in next weekend oh goodness uh, so yes and then MCM and hopefully online and all this stuff so yay it's gonna be good it looks really cool I'm very happy with it <laughs> so I don't know if it's because I've not been spending enough time with him lately you know, Charlie and I have been out of the country. Or if it's just because he's hitting puberty, but Squidge is unbearable at the moment. And genuinely, it makes me feel, like, unloved. <laughs> like, he's not... He doesn't respond to his name anymore. He doesn't want to cuddle with us or spend any time with us. He just wants to fuck around, and we can't come down no matter what we do. So I've had to book in the trainer again. It just sucks, you know. One of the great things about a dog is, like, the idea of unconditional love. But let me tell you, this dog does not give a fuck about us right now. Second we let him out, he'll run around, do whatever he's not supposed to do. Sucks, man. Cue all the comments telling me how and why I'm a bad dog parent. So I'm currently playing through this game called Observer. It's not like the kind of stuff I usually play. It's a little a little spoopy, but you know, building up to Halloween, why not? And I just had this random little uh, interaction with an NPC, totally non-essential. I just like to explore a lot in games. And this line popped up in this interaction, which just blew my fucking mind. And it was just, forever is the privilege of the dead. That's the best line I've heard in fucking ages. And it was just a random NPC interaction in a video game, in like an indie video game. The fuck? I, I tweeted that line out and I immediately got people texting me saying, are you okay? I am okay. Well, I'm not, because that line was fucking intense as shit, dude. What the fuck? Can you calm down a little bit? You just gonna try and lick your booty hole? Oh, this is, that's your arm. Girl, he trying to lick he booty hole. I shoved jelly beans up my asshole. <laughs> I shoved a whole bag of jelly beans up my asshole and I ain't found one yet. <laughs> yeah, you just chill it here. Good boy. You learned a lesson about not being a little fuck boy? No. Oh. He's proud of your shit. Don't fuck him with his face. That's not nice. <laughs> Leave him alone. Googie. Googie, why didn't you love me? Love me. I'm starting off my weekend by mailing back some of the pre-stamped envelopes you've sent to my P.O. box. Uh, and, then, and then we shop. God, I actually have quite a normal life, really. I want to be one, uh, how, I, how can I be one of those more exciting YouTubers, Charlie? Skydive. Okay, here, here we go, skydiving. Whoa! Thank you very much. Yeah, every day, bro. Yeah. We just came here for toilet roll and I bought an entire set of bedding and two dinner trays. Help me. Charlie, you can't have him. Put it down. Put it down. Put him down. Put him down. Put him to sleep. Kill him. There you go. Charlie, I didn't know they made a book of my favorite porn. Girl online going solo. Come back. You got a nice, you got a big boner? You got a big, oh. No, no. Don't bury your fuck. Don't you bury it. Squiggy, you being a good boy today? You being a good boy? Are you being a good boy? Hey, Squidge. Squidge. 
Hey, uh, it's kind of smelled a bit like shit in the house for the past couple days. Do you want to tell us why? No? Oh, well, allow me to explain. It seems that Squidge here uh, managed to find a little secluded corner in the house at some point a few days ago and just shit in it. He got over his little cage, shot in the corner, and then just went back. Yeah, you're proud of yourself, aren't you? It's fucking... I had to scrape it off, it was so... Ah! And now, a comedy sketch, written by one of you and voted for you on the Tom Scar subreddit. Woo! Mm. Hmm. Well, this is either the world's shittiest game of Pass the Parcel, or I've got more fan mail. Ow! If you don't want it, I'll have it. Hmm? Ooh, fan mail. Uh, this junk mail's for you, Eddie. Circular mail. Chain mail. Ah, oh, it's gonna be one of these sketches, isn't it? Wow, that was really good. Straight white mail. Tom. Mail order. Tom. Ooh, royal mail. Tom! Tom, I come! What? Ow! Look, as much as I love listening to your sweet, sexy voice, yeah, yeah. I just can't listen to you describe every bit of fan mail that you get. Why not? Some of my subscribers do it. I don't get that line at all. Because A, you usually do it from home, and two, there's just too much of it around the office. In the script it does actually say A and then two. I don't really... I don't know if that was intentional, but we left in. It's funny, I thought it was funny. I thought it was a joke. I... Ah! Your breath smells. It smells like pita bread. <laughs> And hummus. It smells like hummusy garlic pritter pritter bread. Yeah. He has a point, Tom. What do you mean? I'm keeping on top of it. Ah. Uh, see? They're in my drawers. Get out. Where's that gun going? <laughs> Where are they coming from? <laughs> gonna do? He has a point, Tom. We've got to close the PO box. It's our only chance. <laughs> Easy. What is that thing? It's my plot objectification box. It turns events in this office into storylines. Look at it go. We need to get rid of it. What do you suggest, Tom? Tom, what are you doing? My followers need to know I'm not taking mail anymore. But how will writing a letter help? <laughs> oh, I'm not doing that. I'm posting a tweet. <laughs> well, this is either the world's gayest. Gayest box of mail. We just. Wow. Wow! Happy Father's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Alright! I'm the mailman! Charlie, stop it. Stop having fun. No! No fun allowed! No! to a terrible start because Charlie and I are talking about Disney World and unpopular opinion I don't like Disney World and people who like Disney World scare and confuse me hey I just don't get it I just don't get it but she's just informed me that you know the, the, the fucking castle the castle in, in Disney World that's also you can stay in there and it's specifically a honeymoon suite which means that whenever you're looking at that castle every photo you've ever seen of that castle there's people fucking in there. It's not true. That's literally the truest thing. If it's a honeymoon suite, you know what that is? That's when people go and fuck a lot. I mean, it's not just honeymooners. It's mostly honeymooners. People are in there getting their fucking mickeys on. Yeah, but to be fair, it's very rare and you have to enter a drawer to go in there. Yeah. And it's like once a year, I think. Oh, you have to enter a drawer. That's I thought you meant like you had to go through a drawer to get into it. No, like it was a secret enter, door. You have to, That's uh, funny. You have to win a contest. That's very funny. Later. Squidge, you're all alone. She left us, Squidge. She left us. 
I know. Oh, so Charlie's headed back to her family home to see her mom and Zach the doggo for a few days. And I'm alone. I'm all alone now. And I've reached out to all the people that I think could or would come hang out with me. And they're all busy. And now I have no one to keep me company. So I'm going to go to a hardware store, buy lots of nails, and put up some pictures. Because that's something I haven't done. And I should have done a long time ago. I'm a fucking adult. Shit. Fuck. So immediately after filming that last clip, I realized I should probably have some lunch. And I made some pasta. Toss alone if you must know. And I poured and stirred in a big bag of grated cheese. At which point, I realized the grated cheese had gone moldy. But... You know, I already made the pasta and I already stirred the cheese in. It was too late to go back without just throwing away everything. So I ate it. I ate it. Uh, I ate it all. Oh. Oh, that was a lot, a lot of moldy cheese. So my plan to do my wall is going really well because Charlie's asked me to help finish her video because she's left but she needs me to finish off some of the audio and the edit and upload it and YouTube has just updated itself to no longer accept .m4v video formats so I'm having to export in a much larger file which takes twice as long to upload uh, I have cheese in me Put it up wrong Fuck, I fucked myself with the first hurdle. Ah! So I planned out where all these pictures were gonna go ages ago, and I've accidentally fucked up the first placement. This should be. Uh. Fuck! Uh, one on. Okay, well, I got about as far as I could on my photo wall before it became too late to continue hammering nails into said wall. I have these <laughs> neighbors. Unbelievable, but it's coming along nicely. I'm adding new things. I need to print off a new photo of me, Charlie and my parents at the Tower of Pisa. That's why this one right here has nothing in it. It's just, just, no. I just had like a brief moment of self-awareness, not of how lame I am as a person, but just of how, no wait, it was of how lame I am as a person. Fuck. Ugh. So in customary form, I'm gonna give up, I'm gonna have a bowl of cereal, I'm gonna watch some Brooklyn Nine-Nine, because it's a really good show. I really, I fucking love, I fucking love Brooklyn Nine-Nine. What do you think about Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Squidge? Wow, you love this DVD menu, don't you? I am wearing underwear. Don't worry, Squidge, I'm just closing off the week. You'll be asleep again soon, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't leave me. <sighs> so yeah. Fell into a depressive hole this week. Doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it always kind of catches me by surprise, but I'm also so used to it now, and I'm, I'm so self-aware when it comes to it, that I don't even look for things like conversation or company because I just know that it's irrational and I know it will pass. You know, no amount of conversation is needed because I know. And I know what's going on. I know that my, I've just got some mixed up chemicals in my brain and, and, and that that will end. But the week is over. Sorry if I just made you yawn. And hopefully the next one will be better. Next week, uh, I am going to Glasgow for uh, Comic-Con. So if you are in Glasgow, Scotland, or really anywhere in Scotland, well, Kind of hard to get to in the rural areas, but if you're basically in Glasgow or Edinburgh, um, Edinburgh, come on by. Uh, I'll be there. I'll be hopefully selling the new Tomska posters if we can get them printed in time. Actually, we probably can't, but we'll find out. Uh, I'll see you there, Scottish people. We'll have a good time. Oh, we will have a good time. <laughs> see you last week.